says, if you have a guest suggestion, you should send it to PawsProTV at AOL.com. Okay, yes, sir. Welcome back here. I'm excited about it, too. This is Denver. Uh, uh, I want to get that lad Garrison. Yep. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, of course, from Cab Calloway, a lot of things. You've been, you're in the acting field yourself a little bit, as yep. we see in different things. But let's talk about Cab Calloway, because that's a specialized school here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Cab Calloway is a very special place. We have grades 6 through 12, and we cover all of the arts areas, visual art, com arts, uh, dance, music, theater, instrumental music. Yeah, yeah. And, and when the, when the students graduate from there, they graduate not only with that high school education, but kind of um, you guys have majors and stuff. I mean, that's uh, you know that's not so. It's a little bit different than your regular high school. Absolutely, they um, they study um, a major area every day. In middle school, they actually have a major and a minor. Then in high school, they are a little more specialized into a major. And then, although we send ninety percent of our kids to college, I was just going to ask you: you got to got to have a great success rate. There. We do ninety percent go to college, but this year um, I'm very pleased because we're sending a ton of our kids to art schools now, and that's really I think the sign of whether we're doing our job. And all of these guys have been accepted to art school. Yeah, and we don't want to waste a lot. Not that I don't want to talk to you, and I want to hear more about Cab Calloway, and we're going to do that hopefully if we got the time. But I want to give congratulations first Good. of all out there. Now, the, the young lady we're going to start it off with is Miss Kelly Booterball. So, Kelly, if you can step down there to the microphone. Now, Kelly's been on this show I don't know how many times. She's been in so many <laughs> different plays. I know she, I guess she started coming on. She was probably about eight, uh, I, I want to guess. And, and, her, and her mom comes down. A lot of folks know her from the Wilmington Drama League. But I don't want to put all that. You're going to do what for us today? Gitanjali 35. Okay, so. means offering. All right. Well, let's, let's hear it. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father let my country awake. All right. Nice. Unreal. Unbelievable. Now, Kelly's going to go on, and she's, uh, I believe, uh, you're going to go to the University of uh, the Arts over in Philadelphia. Uh, the arts. So you were t- saying all the yes. girls were going into it. Absolutely. Next, we have behind, beside her Miss Sophia Burke, and we'll get her to come down. And this, this young lady, now, she's going all the way. She's leaving the state. Yes. She, she is disappearing on us big time, <laughs> going all the way out to the windy city of Chicago to Columbia. Congratulations. Thank you. And she wrote this poem. This is a poem she wrote. Okay, well, let's leave it up to you. J.M. Husher told me to write love poems to the parts of me that I hate. And while he wrote to his incisors, I'm writing love letters addressed to my chest. Dear chest, you're late. But I want to thank you tell you that I love you for not filling in my t-shirts and tank tops because while the rest of my friends were in gym class getting ready to put on their bathing suits, I I faked a doctor's note. I went to the library, read Allen Ginsberg. My first taste of poetry came from an insecurity because my boobs were so embarrassing I let Kerouac tell me that life is my art and so much more that I would never understand but still would make me think. And that messed up my math grade because I spent all of class reading Anne Sexton and Sylvia Plath getting high from every line that I read. But I'm not blaming you. (laughs) Screw math. That's what calculators are for and cheating off the smarter person next to you. But poetry, poetry became double D's for me, took me from a place where size is everything and told me that having boobs gave me nothing but a knack for attracting horny guys and back problems. I never did go to gym. But even though you were late, something else arrived just on time. So, thanks. And when you do decide to come in, well, we'll talk about that when you get here. I like that. I like that. (laughs) 
But <laughs> relating, because coming to it, I guess, right, relating to they, things that go on in life. They're, yeah, and they're fantastic writers. They've all written plays. They write poetry. Um, it's, it's really amazing how talented these kids are.